so I'm continuing as you can see it's pretty wet I didn't let it dry and uh, actually um, I'm building up the the layers in the middle and the idea here is that where the tree line ends there is a darker um, zone where I'm melting dark blue right now and I need to make sure it's not coming too much down because it's too dark color to fight with the orange which will be the tree line and the same in the bottom so the where just behind the trees on the bottom there is also a darker area with bushes and so you can see through because the tree starts to um, branch higher and you can see below that little forest there and it's darker obviously and upper you can't see through because the trees start to branch and they occupy that zone and blocking the view So I'm still adding water, washing back uh, the too dark area. Just making sure that the transparent orange can cover there. And just still continue to build the area right away uh, above the trees it's a process because I need to prepare for that wet on wet uh, painting and I kind of have my plan in my head and I I'm preparing for that so it's a little bit hard to explain because I I know the plan and you will see very soon um, so I want to make sure everything ready for taking the transparent orange in the middle where the trees are and when I'm adding the transparent orange it needs to be pretty wet and melting but it cannot flow up too much or down into the hillside so I'm preparing for that color and um, when I add that color that will be the wettest area and then I will use the washback technique but everything should be ready because that's the last step and uh, I, I'm not really I don't want to touch anything else after so this is why I'm trying to work just below the trees and just above the trees um, because that I want to make sure it's ready Oh, 
Also, I want to finish up the, the top of the heel because that's also something I don't want to retouch after too much. So I'm working that a little bit to, to have those sharper geometric uh, structures. And I'm adding little lines, vertical lines for um, expressing the rocks, the rock, uh, the structure of the rocks. I start to add the warm colors now, some purplish. For the vegetation, the atom vegetation, because it's an atom picture. If you use wipe, make sure that your wipe is clean. It's terrible when <laughs> You touch the light blue with some dark on your wipe and it's not possible to remove. It's quite bothering if it's on the sky. I killed the two too much green uh, blue with a little orange. Now probably it's getting ready to get the orange. So I will put kind of a dense paint layer there. So I just layer pigments there and so it if you let this layer a little bit sink, not dry, just sink and settle, uh, with just adding water, you can generate the border uh, between the hills and, uh, and the trees. 